Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to go over some HTML CSS basics, probably starting with the HTML, then doing a little bit of style sheets. So um, this is if you're brand new to making web pages by typing in HTML. And it's really not a complicated language, so at least let's focus on the HTML first so we can feel pretty good about it. Now I'm using a plain text editor here. I'm technically using a program called Notepad++, but you can do what I'm about to do using any plain text editor. You could use Notepad right on your computer. Um, but if you want to use Notepad++, you can go download that off the web. It is a free program and really popular if you are into writing HTML and CSS and JavaScript and stuff like that. Now, our web page document is not unlike other documents, but it's got some really key parts. And in order to communicate with a web browser, these parts are identified with tags or called elements. Now the first thing that we're going to type in here is called a doc type definition. Let me go ahead and type it up here first. There we go. So there's my doc type definition. It tells the browser which version of markup language I'm using. I'm using HTML5, which is the most current version of the hypertext markup language. And basically, like any like any language, like the English language for that matter, uh, there are different words, in this case there are different tags, which mean different things. So that's our first starting tag right there. This tells the browser what kind of language we're writing. Okay, so that's the doc type definition. It goes at the very top of my document. Now I'm going to create a set of tags. HTML, I'll press my enter key a few times. HTML, there we go. So this indicates the starting and stopping point the opening and the closing of my actual HTML document. Now, in between these opening and closing tags, I'm going to split this up into two key sections. Okay? There's a head section, which has an opening tag and a closing tag, and then there's the body section, which has an opening tag and a closing tag. So the way I've got it structured right now is that my document from lines 3 through 13 are split up into two key sections, the head section and the body section. The head section contains information about your page that's not directly displayed on the web page. The body section contains the stuff that people see. So your hyperlinks, your paragraphs, your images, your navigation menus, your content, that's all in the body section of the page. The head section contains pretty important stuff, but you don't necessarily see it on the web page. So one of the first things I'm going to put in the head section is I'm going to put a set of title tags, okay? And I'll just call this basic web page. Every page should have a title. And there's an opening and closing set of title tags. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a meta tag. Meta information is also supporting information about your web page. This one I'm going to do is car set, car set or character set equals UTF-8 a character encoding. Okay. Another one I'm going to do, and in fact, you could put in a few more, but another good one here, um, I'll do meta name equals description content equals, there we go, I'm going to leave this one blank. But basically this is where you could put a brief description about your website or web page. So if you're getting into search engine optimization, this is going to be a little bit more critical. But for now, that's pretty good for our, the head section of our page. Now I'm going to go down to the body section of the page and do a little bit of work down here. In the body of this section of the page, I want to be able to see some things. And there's a few other tags you want to know. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use a div here for a moment. And I'm going to give this one a unique ID. So there's a div tag. This one's going to have an ID, and it's going to be called container. And whenever you do an opening div tag, you need to do a closing div tag. So I'll do a closing. Notice my opening div tag is just after my opening body. My closing div tag is just before my closing body. This is proper nesting. My container div is completely within the body of my page. Now within this container, I'm going to have a couple of other key sections here. I'm going to go ahead and create um, a header. And I'm going to have a heading one in here. This is headline for my page. And I'm going to close out the header. There we go. So my page has a header section 
Okay, so there's a set of header tags, and in between the opening and closing header tags, I have a headline level one, an H1 tag or element. So there's my basic structure. Now after my header, I'm going to go ahead and create, how about another div, and I'll do ID equals content. I do an opening div, so that means I also need to have, oops, a closing div, okay? And within this div, I'm going to create a paragraph, okay? If I can spell the word paragraph. There we go. Now, one of the first questions I usually get is, is this indentation important? And it's not really. I've been indenting a number of things, and, and I'm really just doing that to make it easier to read. So my container contains everything, my div ID container. There's a header section within that container. That header contains a heading one. After my header section, I have a content area. And that content area at the moment contains a paragraph but it can also contain an image, which I haven't created yet. So I can have an image in there, and I can also have bulleted lists and numbered lists and things like that. I don't want to get too deep into this. This is just the basic HTML structure. But this, so this is where I want to go ahead and start off with. Now to really see what's happening, I'm going to click File, Save As, and I'm just going to go ahead and save this over to my desktop for now. And I'll just call it mypage1.html. So I've given my web page a name. I've given it a file name using all lowercase letters and no spaces. And I've given it a .html extension. The editor that I'm using helps color code things for me. Okay, makes it a little bit easier to look at. Um, something else I'm going to do is I, I do want to have an image. Now I've already got an image on my web page or on my desktop saved. So I can just type in the file name for the image. Okay, so the picture I'll use is uh, ralph.jpg, and this is me at Paulina Lake. All right, so I've got some alternate text in there, and away we go. Let me go ahead and resave my file, and then I can just open it up with my browser. So let me just jump over to my web browser. Let's go to a new blank page. I'll do a uh, Control O to open. My picture is stored on my, or my HTML file is stored on my desktop. There it is, my page one, and there's my web page. So all of that writing, and this is what I have. I've got the headline for my page, I've got my paragraph, and I have my image. And this was all created using the HTML markup language. So there's my header, contains my heading one. There's my paragraph, which is in my div content, and there's my image, which follows after my paragraph, just like it's displaying on here. So that's the basics of HTML. In the next video, we'll do a little bit more, and we're going to do a little bit of basic formatting with some style sheets to make this look a little bit slicker.